Well, guys, I am back. That was short lived. I went out to the car only to find that my car didn't want to start. Um, I think I left the lights on, y'all. But in my defense, the lights are supposed to, the headlights are supposed to cut off automatically. So, hmm, I wonder what does that have anything to do with it. And the only reason why I say I think I, I left them on was because <laughs> when I initially cranked uh, the car, the beamers came on and then they went off. And of course, I heard like a rusty sound, like a, <laughs> you know, and I've had batteries die on me before, so. Well, you know, luckily I didn't have an appointment or anything to go to, so I'm happy about that. I'll just know now, lesson learned. Don't trust uh, the automatic lights to go off in your car, cut them off. Now I'm gonna go out here and make sure that my light in my car is actually off, you know, like the roof light. And my homeboy's gonna come give me a jump when he gets off work. So really right now, I guess I will take advantage of decorating these shelves and filming that video. Um, I need to wash some dishes and I'll go ahead and put that load of clothes in the washer that I was supposed to do before I left anyway. So, you know, why not? Oh, and I'm gonna fix me something to eat cause your girl is hungry. So I pulled out my Easter decor to see, you know, what I want to decorate with. Um, most of this, actually all of this I had last year. I just never used um, this white gumball machine. I, they had the red ones, um, I think around Christmas time, um, 2020. And then I spray painted my red one pink. And then they came out with the white around Easter. And I finally was able to cop one after several visits i had these little bunnies i kind of wouldn't mind having a gold um bunny like this i'm trying to keep in the black and gold pink pastel -y colors um i have some cookbooks over here on the table um ignore this mess that i pulled out that i don't know um i was waiting on this when it finally came if I'm gonna use these hearts, I was gonna use these for um, Valentine's Day on my coffee bar, but we'll see. And then I have these two pink cookbooks, which I have down below um, linked. I need to go ahead and do my Amazon shop. Um, hopefully I'll have that up by the time this vlog, but if not, I'll have the links below if you're interested in anything. I picked up this little bunny at Target. Um, so I'm kinda, I think that's enough stuff. And then I got this little thing, what, last year or the year before last year? 
I just need to look for some greenery. And that'll be a separate, that'll be a separate video. Um, just decorate with me, but I started cleaning up. Why not, you know, try to utilize some time instead of just wasting time. Um, I'm gonna kind of figure out what I want to use over here and then I'll film it like a second video. Might as well go ahead and decorate my wild shells. And then let me see what I'm gonna do next. I need to put another load of clothes in the washing machine. So I just put a load in my socks. So I'm gonna take those out and then I'm gonna fold these loads. Hopefully by that time, I mean, we're at, is it almost two? It's actually almost two, so a whole hour has gone by. I wash the dishes, I just need to rinse out my um, coffee cup. And then um, I bought this, let me show y'all. I bought this bowl from Home Goods. I'm kind of getting into some of the wood decor, not everything wood. Obviously it kind of matches my paint in here um, or my natural um, cabinet color, which I absolutely do not like. I'm hopefully hoping to paint it um, by this uh, summer. But I thought this was super cute to house my um, fruits like bananas or um, onions and bell peppers in. Um, you know, stuff that you kind of set out on the counter. I do sometimes put my bell peppers in the refrigerator, but only when I get ready to cut them. But I thought I'd put that here. And then I also got a book holder and these canisters. Let me show y'all. I got that from Home Goods. Matter of fact, that was um, $19.99, sorry. And then I picked up these canisters. Um, these I thought was super cute. I like them better on the other turned around opposed to with the side, but I guess they have this open so you can see, you know, what you're getting. But these were from Ross for $49 for this size. It's kind of like a medium size, not very large. I didn't want nothing really big anyway. And then the smaller one was $349. So I thought those were really good price on those. And I'll probably put um some of my coffee pods for my Keurig and then the ground coffee once I rinse them out. I haven't rinsed them out yet, so That'll be something else on the list to do for this weekend. And then hopefully I can get my Nespresso up and running. I might put those over there with my Nespresso and my other uh, coffee thoughts. But I'll make a probably Instagram real video with decorating my coffee bar area. But back to cleaning. Just got some happy mail. Let's go see what it is. I go get my box cutter okay guys it's a little bit later um almost 5 15. my friend has not come yet to give me a jump on my car i'm hoping that he comes before ntv closes but that might not be the case <laughs> <clears throat> because I think they close at either six or seven. I really need to look it up. And then hopefully my car will jump start. And I won't have to take it to AutoZone to check the battery. Um, so fingers crossed for that. Um, but right now I'm gonna get into fixing me something to eat. I've got two more meat patties. Um, since I can't go nowhere. <laughs> Might as well pick something neat. I was thinking about getting some papacitos to eat. Um, I was able to rearrange some things in my uh, garage. So, got that out of the way. And I did pick up, dang, my candle blew out. I might bake some homemade cookies tonight. I think I will. But let's get into cooking. And then tomorrow... I'm gonna go take some pictures so hopefully like I say my car is up and running so I can keep my plans tomorrow to take pictures and if not then I'll have to do a little alteration <laughs> Okay, y'all, story time. So, my homeboy came by 
and we were trying to he was trying to get his car in the um garage but unfortunately i was too far over in my garage for him to just pull up so we pushed the car out in the driveway well we go to open the trunk of the car and the mother hood doesn't open i said trunk but i meant to say hood the hood doesn't open i don't know what happened what's wrong apparently the best logical uh reason i can give is that the last time i had got my car service um a service repair guy slammed the hood and broke the spring so i'm like how the hell do you open up a hood of a car without you know lifting the little handle nevertheless um we pushed the car back in the garage as he pushed um in the driver's seat i pushed um in the back of the car got my little workout on something just told me i asked i was like you think it's the you think it's the alternator? No, nah, I was like, no, nah, it can't be the alternator because he was like, well, what sound did it make when you cut it on? I say kind of that, you know, you know, rusty kind of sound, but the lights came on. So that's how I kind of knew it was the battery. Um, and if it's the alternator, then it wouldn't cut on at all. You know, and he was like, it might be your starter. And I did have a starter go out a long time ago. And I think with a starter, it just click clicks. So anyway, something he said give me the key and something told me i gave him the key y'all why the car started the car started i was like well thank god the car started so um i've been sitting outside with the garage open for about 20 minutes so i finally just decided let me go ahead cut it off now and i pray to god y'all pray for me that it starts up in the morning I made sure everything was off, including the lights, radio, anything I can cut off. You know, hopefully the alternator um, charged the battery enough that I can go to the dealership in the morning. Um, so I hope I make it safe and sound to the dealership because I cannot open the hood of my car, which is crazy. You know, you got to get in the hood of the car to fix everything else. cooking vlog. This is what your gravy should look like. A little kind of dark brown. I, um, I increased the temperature just a little bit because I wanted it to be a little thicker. I'm about to decrease it and then I'm going to add the patties back in. I'm going to cut it off actually and add the patties back in and then I'll come back with the finished product. And you guys, dinner is served. Got my two meat patties with my gravy on there, mashed potatoes and some spinach. I don't know why I am obsessed with putting spinach on top of mashed potatoes. That's kind of how they do it in the fine dining establishments and I've been doing it ever since. I love all at one bite you know you get your fork in there you taste the spinach get a little bit of that garlic mashed potato come around there and get some of that gravy with that meat patty in mm, voila i think i have me some wine so i'm going to hurry up and eat this food because your girl is hungry haven't eaten all day today i'll see y'all tomorrow hopefully everything will run smoothly 
I'll get a new battery if need be, and we'll be off to taking some photos. So yeah, see y'all in the morning. In the kitchen, we're staring like a stir fry. Mm. Mm. Y'all, this chocolate chip cookie is gonna be so Hey guys, I just kind of ghosted you guys yesterday after shopping. My apologies. Um, I ended up going to my mom's house and then uh, kind of being over there for a little while. And then by the time I got home, I got something to eat and I just ended up falling asleep on the couch watching uh, Legacies. And so it's Sunday, like afternoon time. Um, I haven't done too much. I'm looking at, it looked odd. Um, I did just film a reel and posted it to Instagram of this floral arrangement. 
that I'll show you guys. And then I just cleaned um, my camera lens. It was looking pretty dusty and dirty. I cleaned it with this kit like cleaner stuff. Y'all probably can't see it. Um, I'll show y'all. I got this uh, kit from Best Buy. It was like $7, $5.99. And it comes with a cleansing cloth, some cleaning stuff, um, some swabs, and uh, this little duster brush. So hopefully my camera uh, will be a little bit cleaner and a little bit more um, clear in this video. So this is the floral arrangement. Um, I got these flowers from Dollar Tree last year, and I just filmed a quick um, Instagram video probably gonna add a little bunny or something there for Easter I want to do my coffee table y'all can see over there I got my pillows stacked up because and then I got the bunnies out um, because I took everything off my coffee table and I'm gonna redo my coffee table and I want to clean my um it's crazy this is my hate glass on another note I just literally wiped this table off where did that crumb come from um, I can't wait till I get a new coffee table, but, uh, yeah, I want to use my, um, Hoover, uh, carpet cleaner um, today and clean my, um, couch. So I've got a couple of returns that I didn't get a chance to do yesterday. So I'm going to step out and I really, really need to be on time today because when I get back home, I really need to sweep up my kitchen and mop my kitchen because it's been um it's been a while since i've done so um since mopped i swept the other day but i need to sweep again this plant that i have i noticed some little bugs and i don't like that so i know my friend told me don't overwater the plant because of bugs and I didn't think I was over watering it and I'm actually just noticed these bugs today so what I'm gonna do is that's another reason why they look like they're smaller than ants I don't know <laughs> they can't be coming from the window and the only thing that's different in that corner um, I've never seen those bugs before is the plant so I want to wipe off the plant I just sprayed I hope I didn't kill the plant because I did spray it a little bit with the house, um, you know, the pesticide uh, spray, and I killed the rest. It was, it was, I don't actually dead on the floor, but I want to sweep and mop, and then I'm going to take that curtain down, and I am going to wash that curtain. Um, it's going to be a process with washing all of them, but I do want to change out my curtains. I know the white actually is probably perfect for spring, and I might put them back up there because um, I do have a new set of curtains, though, that I want to try on my front window. I think I showed y'all on this vlog or the last vlog of them, but then I will have to order the set for those two windows, you know, my living room window and that in my breakfast room window but nevertheless i'm gonna stop rambling and we're gonna head out to target um i need to go to the grocery store and pick up some more water and a few more items i'm thinking about cooking dinner tonight but i don't really feel like it to be honest with you i have a few dishes and i need to to wash and i need to store my um mixer back in the closet so i have that big bowl to um store back so i'm going to do some rearranging and i want to wipe some stuff down so we got a long day and we're starting late <laughs> Outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two turn baby girl, you know me, still with the dolls that I grew beside, all the niggas brown, I ain't in it, gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by, I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two turn baby girl, I just caught a 
shorty off a fan star Just go on a really it's a crash Way that I've been living on conventional It never fails. I go into the store to return something and I always end up buying something else. I got this cute dress um, that was on the rack when I was returning. I think it's too big, but I said I'll try it on and I didn't try it on in the dressing room. So I'm gonna try it on when I get home and show y'all, but we've got to go make a return to TJ Maxx and Target next. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Get something to eat and head back to the house. I was able to make all of my returns um, except two. I left the Ross bag right here on the counter. And then by the time I picked up my food, I got some food from Papacitos. I just, I'm tired. So I was like, I'll go to um, Best Buy um, tomorrow or sometime later this week. Y'all, I picked up some snacks while I was at Walgreens. These nuts were on sale. And then I get my favorite ones right here. I love, love, love Mr. Good Bar. And Walgreens usually has these two for $6 or um, I think they make you buy one for $3.99. So I just pick up two. But this time they were two for $5. Whoop, whoop. So. I got these and I think regularly $2.99 if you wanted to get one. So I got both of them delicious. And then I picked up these. I wanted to try these a while ago. Um, I forget Deep River brand I think has a like a pickle kind of um, chip. But they only sell them at um, I think they have them on Amazon. But I heard of them from Brown Bag Deli. So Doritos. I'm going to give y'all a try. Probably eat those tomorrow for a snack. With some of these nuts i am going to heat up my foods and show y'all what i got because your girl is hungry i'm always hungry i feel like hunger and me eating on these logs is becoming a normal thing right now i got me some guacamole they haven't gone up on the price of guac yet and here supposedly they're not going to be getting any more um, avocados from Mexico y'all know Mexico is the largest producer of avocados but if you don't know now you know um I got me a kids meal enchilada yes I said a kids meal because when y'all see it y'all gonna be like oh it's a good amount of food and then don't forget, they still give you chips and salsa, which I will be diving in on this a guacamole. But let me show y'all my kids' meal. Uh huh. Beef. I'm gonna heat it up. They put it in this foil, but I was kind of late picking it up, so it's not hot anymore. And then I'm gonna put some pico on top. And baby, yes, I'm gonna make me a cocktail. After this, I'm gonna make me a cocktail. After this, okay, and then I'm gonna get down.
epic fail. I burnt these things again. I guess I didn't realize what temperature I had my food on. So, I don't know. I think I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here because, like I said, I got a whole lot of stuff to do. Y'all have been shopping with me this whole entire weekend, and I'm going to try to bring y'all weekly vlogs, um, like I said, of me on the weekend because I'm usually ripping and running or doing something. Um, this week is supposed to be a beautiful week um, in the 70s all week. Today was supposed to be the last day of being cold. Um, yeah, these canisters that I showed y'all the other day, I think, on the vlog, I'm taking back, believe it or not. Um, I did like these, don't get me wrong. They're very nice and I think very affordable. I really don't care for this side, but these were really nice and for the price they were wild. But um, Inspire Me Home Decor finally got these gold canisters that my friend Jade ordered last year they finally restocked them and i have been wanting them since last year so i went on ahead and bit the bullet and went ahead and ordered what i really 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 want um of course they were more expensive they're actually really true gold this is more like kind of a metal now that i look at it i kind of don't like that i don't know if y'all can see that i don't like that you can get scratches on this but i mean for the price because the inspire me home canisters were four times the amount but anyway i'm gonna go ahead in the vlog here don't forget to click like and subscribe if you are new here to my channel welcome to all my oldies but goodies you know i love y'all thank you guys for always supporting me and i'll see y'all in the next vlog i'll let you girl in the comments below